Listen, Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Ryder, Lennox, poker night! Let's go, get down here. It's family together this time, or I take all your money. <laughs> Wish we could, but Xander is taking me to an art show. It's photos of people taking photos of people. It's very meta. <laughs> Whatever happened to just parking behind the supermarket and making out? <laughs> what the? I didn't mean that. Do, do the meta thing. I like this new artist boyfriend, you know? He seems pretty harmless. There's no such thing as a harmless 17-year-old boy, Mel, unless he's neutered. <laughs> Do you remember when Lennox broke up with Haskell right before she met Xander? Those are the happiest nine minutes of my life. Hey, there he is. What's up? You ready to bleed some money? Can't tonight, Joe. School can't be trips tomorrow and a bunch of us going over to Mark's house to hang out. Oh, and that's more fun than hanging out with us? Well, it's cheaper. All right. <laughs> See you guys. See ya. Okay, well, I guess it's just, uh... Two of us, then. Yeah, it's gonna happen a lot now. You know, us alone in an empty house. I'm sure we can figure out something fun to do with each other. Like what? <laughs> is, is that coming from your pants? Yep. That would be my phone. <laughs> oh, look, it's Tatiana. Mm, what did she do to merit such a classy ringtone? <laughs> don't ask questions you don't want answered, Mel. <laughs> <clears throat> We've noticed it, too. One A-list celebrity after another hooking up with the nanny. Now, you know who I'm talking about, right, Kev? Listen, Jude Law, Ethan Hawke, Robin Williams. Something must happen in the house that people just can't fight. Oh, they can fight it. This is just gross. <laughs> hey. All right, so did you think of something that we could do with each other? Not gonna happen. <laughs> Thanks, Joe, but I think I've developed the skill set necessary to stuff sweatpants into a duffel bag. <laughs> okay. He flies down. <laughs> so, three days out in the wilderness, huh? You know, there's no uh, video games out there, no texting. Oh, and the only angry birds are... angry birds. <laughs> no, I think I'll survive. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Where's your other shoe? <laughs> oh, man, I don't know. Ryder, your size 48 shoe is in the shower. See? Solved it. Look at you all grown up with your two shoes. Wow, you were looking awfully Armani this morning. Oh, you know nothing. I'm actually very Hugo Boss. Because? Because I have a job interview. A very big job interview, actually. And I would appreciate it if you wouldn't tell your Aunt Mel, because... It's best not to tell her stuff. That's how we live. Thank you. Wow, you look nice. Were you indicted? Actually, I'm on my way to a funeral. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyone we know? Yes. As a matter of fact, it's, um, the trash man. Odd. I could have sworn I saw him this morning. You know, in my grief, I misspoke. I meant the mailman. I would send a sympathy card, but there's no one to deliver it. You know, I sense you're covering something, but in order to pursue it, I would have to care, and I'm happy to say I don't. All right, bye, guys. See you in four days. Oh! That's right, you're leaving today. Oh, my little baby nephews. Little? Burke, that kid's a giraffe. <laughs> if he grows any taller, we're gonna have to start recutting the doors. Fantastic committee hearing today. I was electrifying. The entire zoning commission was hanging on my every word. Huh, look what Xander drew for me. And now I'm home. My power to captivate is gone. No, look, isn't it awesome? Oh, so awesome. I mean, just as awesome as the other 30 drawings he did that look exactly the same. No, this is different. See, this is me looking to the left. Best ones are where I'm looking slightly up and to the right. Man, does this kid draw anything else? All right, what are you getting at? Well, honey, he's obsessed with you. Enjoy it. Doesn't last long. Hey. Oh, my... Are you kidding me? Doesn't this guy know how to draw anything else? It's like you're dating a Xerox machine. You two are dead inside, like husks of corn left out in the sun. Husks of corn who buy your clothes. Wow. I thought 
thought you made up the whole funeral story. I didn't know you were that close to the mailman. Oh, the mailman's fine. Only thing that got buried today was my career. Isn't that old news? <laughs> I mean, oh. You know, is that Buckwald from down the street, the sporting goods guy? Yeah, well, he's expanding citywide, and he comes up to me the other day, and he says, hey, Joe, we could really use somebody like you. Well, that sounds positive. Yeah, his massive expansion means he needs help around the house, working as the nanny, you know, pushing the strollers, wiping the butts. Well, you know, look on the bright side. The mailman's not dead. Here's the thing, though. The offer he gave me was actually pretty good, and I think I may even get him to come up. What? Whoa, are you negotiating a salary? No, are you kidding? If I take another job like this, then I really will be a nanny. Well, aren't you one now? I'm just asking. No, I'm not. I only work as a nanny, all right? What I am is an executive in transition who took a temporary job to tide him over. Yeah, three years ago. I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing. You know, it's obvious why they want you. Ryder and Lennox are good kids. You're a big part of that. I'm an even bigger part. <laughs> but, you know, numbers aren't important. It's not a pie chart. There's another thing you're great at. Pies. <laughs> I do make a damn good cherry pie. We all need you around here, Joe. No, no, you don't. You don't. Look, all the writer's friends drive. You know, Lennox spends all her time with her boyfriend. I mean, seriously, Mel, I got nothing to do here all day but lift weights. I mean, look at me, you know? I've never been any hotter. And yet, I'm empty inside, you know? I'm, I'm like this insanely lean-cut shell of a man. I mean, give me one reason why you need me here. Besides pies or dinner or anything that you can digest. Oh, sure, there aren't that many minute-to-minute -minute things with the kids, but I think of you like... like... like this fire extinguisher over here. Okay, you don't need it every day, but when you do, it's right here waiting for you. Hanging on the wall. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I want you on that wall. I need you on that wall, you know, ready to spray yourself all over any problem. You know, maybe... maybe you're right. Maybe this is it for me, you know? Maybe I'm gonna be doing this the rest of my life. Nanny Joe. Joe the nanny. End of story. Where are you going? I don't know, but when you say something that finally you have to leave the room or else you end up looking stupid. Joe, stay. I'm not sure I can, Burke. Joe's seriously considering the offer. He might actually go work for those awful people across the street. The Buckwalds are very nice. Whose side are you on? Fine, I'll badmouth the neighbors. Their mailbox pisses me off. <laughs> Can you help me come up with something to keep Joe busy? You know, he thinks there's no reason for him to be here. Uh, maybe because there's not? You knew Joe wasn't going to be around here forever. Is this about losing an employee, or is it something more? No. <laughs> it's less, much less. I just, you know, want Joe to feel wanted. I mean, necessary. And I will find important, necessary things for him to do. Even if you have to make stuff up. Please, I'm hardly that desperate. Solar panels! <laughs> what? I'm gonna get Joe to install solar panels all over the roof. It's physical, it's dangerous, and he can work shirtless, which he obviously lives for. <laughs> I am good. Wait a minute, didn't Joe want to install solar panels like two years ago and you said no? Exactly. It's gonna look like I caved, and Joe loves it when I cave. <laughs> oh, but you're not really caving, are you? Of course not. I manipulate, I bend the truth, I steal diet sugar packets, but I never cave. And the guidance counselor doesn't get that I only want to apply to art schools. He is a narrow-minded art hater. Not like you. No, I love art. I think art is cute and I want to kiss it on the nose. You know what, I'm going to tell that lame guidance counselor it's art school or nothing when I see him at 1 o'clock. Uh, it's 1.15, honey. Crap, he's gonna send me to Florida State. You know, for an artist, he's got a really nice butt. I know. And he's obsessed with me. Oh, I don't know how I live with it. Is this Sanders sketchbook? Yeah. You know how you can tell? Me. Oh, <laughs> me. Strange brunette. Me. Strange brunette. Strange brunette again. Who is she? I don't know. But I'm gonna find out. She's very pretty. Yeah. For now. Look at this electric bill. It is so high. Woo! Hi. Check this. The school's already posting pics of Ryder's camping trip. 
Here's Ryder paddling a canoe. Ryder standing up in a canoe. Here's two guys fishing Ryder out of the water. Well, I bet there's no picture of him turning off a light after he's done using it. You know, we really need some cheaper power. You know, uh, some dependable energy. An alternative source. I don't know. Panels of some kind. Perhaps solar. I told you that two years ago. Oh, my gosh, you did. <laughs> Boy, older and wiser, huh? You know what? I bet you could install them. Are you saying that you were wrong and I was right? That's what I'm saying, Joe. That is what I'm saying. I'm not buying it. I think you're making this up. You don't want solar panels. Yes, I do. I do with all my heart. No, no, you don't. You're just trying to keep me busy. You know what this is? This is a pity solarization. Joe, does it really matter? Yes, it does matter, OK? Because you're afraid to say what this is really about. This is about you and me. I mean, it's pretty obvious. You know, I've felt it for a long time, too. You have? Well, then maybe you should say it first. OK, fine. I will. You don't think I can get another job. That's it. No, that's not, wait, that's not it. What? Of course you can get another job. No, no, you don't think I can. But you know what? I'm going to prove to you that I actually can get another job. I'm going to call that Buckwald guy, and if that job is still available, I'm telling him I'm taking it. Now, give me your credit card. What for? Well, I'm still putting up the solar panels. A good idea is a good idea. No mystery, girl. I've already been through all 853 of Xander's Facebook friends. Now I'm checking friends of friends. That's another, like, 600,000 people. I may have to skip PE. You are handling this so well. It's like jealousy is giving you super strength. You know, maybe I can't find her because he made her up. I mean, he's an artist. They make stuff up all the time. Maybe. But you'll never know for sure unless you ask him. Hey, guys, uh, do you happen to see my sketchbook? I think I left it around here. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Thank God. You didn't look inside, did you? What for? I mean, we all know what's inside of it. Pictures of me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You know, it must be boring just drawing me. You probably want to draw something else every once in a while, don't you? Nope. Nope, not this guy. In fact, I'm gonna go home and draw you right now. From memory. He totally did not make her up. She's as real as a guilty look on his adorable little face. So look, the Buckwald said that I can start over there part-time during the day when it's quiet here looking after the kids, and I can slowly transition into full-time. I don't accept this. You can't just up and leave. You have to give me at least two years' notice. Two years. Look, there are things I'll miss if you go. Like what? Everything. I don't know. You know shut up. Look, I'm just saying, think about it, and then decide to stay right here. Burke, I already told the Buckwalds that I would start looking after a little baby tomorrow. A baby? Do you know how selfish babies are? Oh, leave us alone. In the middle of an important conversation. Come on, it's not going to be that bad. Seriously, what do you need me for around here anymore? Tell them to go away. Oh, it's a school. This is Joe Longo. Yeah, hold on a second. Everybody's OK, but they need to speak with Ryder's guardian. This is Mel Burke. Uh-huh. Smoking pot? Better be this kind. I'll be right there. All right, Joe, you're going with me. And you're driving. How come? Because it's wrong to drink and drive. I would. So the vice principal brought our whole group in one by one and asked us who smoked. Now, there were five of us who did it, but I'm the only one who told the truth, so I'm the only one in trouble. How could you be so stupid to smoke pot on a school trip? How could you be so stupid to be the only one to admit it? <laughs> it's nice, Burke. Way to instill values. Yeah, I'm trying to instill common sense. You don't have to admit to stuff when they don't have the goods on you. Can you find the politician in the room, anyone? Oh, forgive me for having survival instincts. You guys. Shouldn't you be focusing on Ryder and how he's dealing with all of this? No, no, let, let them go after each other. No need to focus on me. No, no, no. The focus is on you, Snoop. It says here there's a disciplinary hearing for Ryder and his parents slash guardians tomorrow. This is so bogus. So I, it was Josh who brought the weed. I never even smoked before. I just figured, you know, what's the harm in trying it? 
Oh, so your judgment was worse before you smoked pot? <laughs> All right, well, you know, the meeting's tomorrow at 420. <laughs> I have to move some stuff, but I'll be there. I wish I could be there, but unfortunately, I already told the Buckwalds I watched her six-month-old baby tomorrow. Didn't even get high. Unless this is all a hallucination and I'm still on the campus. Fuck him home, Puff Daddy. Friends of friends of friends. Ugh. I have looked at so many faces. All white people look the same to me. I don't know how much longer I can keep doing this. My thumbs are cramping. Oh, suck it up, Noelle. This girl isn't gonna find herself. Lennox, I don't think she exists. Maybe you were right, and she's just a picture in a notebook. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm probably just driving myself crazy for nothing. Refill? No, thanks. We're done. Completely done. <gasps> Didn't mean to scare you with the coffee. <laughs> Looks so nice, Sam. Save it. But thanks, this is a new blazer. Ryder, we're ready for you. You're Mrs. Scanlon? No, I'm his aunt, Mel Burke. His mother and father aren't available. So it's just you? Yep, it's just me. I made it. Fantastic. Joe! You're here. I thought you said you couldn't. Yeah, well, I figured this was a fire extinguisher moment if there ever was one, right? Well, I would agree with that. And you are? Oh, Joe Longo. Hi. Yeah, Tucker Buckwald. Uh, Joe's a very big part of this. I'm a big part. All right. Come in. Ryder, are you ready? Burke, you feeling good? Better now. Okay, let's roll. Xander, I'm thinking about dyeing my hair. Would you like me better as a brunette? Uh, I'd like you better the way you are. Oh, really? So you wouldn't like me better if I looked like this? Oh, boy. What is going on with her? It's nothing, I promise. Sander, you don't hide nothing. Look, I, I don't even know her name. I just sit at the coffee shop and I draw her when she's not looking. Oh, that's not too creepy. That makes me feel much better. <laughs> Why are you drawing another girl? Because I can totally capture her on paper. I, I got her, right? Totally. Whereas I can never get you. You know, I, I just, I draw you and I draw you and I never even come close. It's just so, it's so frustrating. So I went off and I found a girl that was easier. What? Simpler to draw. You're just, you're so beautiful. I could never get it down on paper. You could have just told me. So you get jealous. Me? <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I guess. Well, I promise I won't draw her anymore. No, draw whatever you like. Whatever inspires you. Just not girls. I leave that up to you. Understood. <laughs> hey, dude, how'd it go? Oh, terrific. I'll be upstairs for the next few years if anybody needs me. Expelled or suspended? Suspended for the rest of the year. It's their zero tolerance policy. Man, that sucks. <laughs> you are so sweet. Mm -hmm. OK, every happy person has to leave. <laughs> up, 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 up. You up, you out. Yeah, that's three months of the school year at home. What happens to his education? He gave us this list of tutors. We can choose one of these. Oh, great. A bunch of chumps who couldn't get a job at a public school? I mean, we could just forget about college. Why don't we just take him down the street corner right now and teach him how to dance with one of those apartment for rent signs? <laughs> we're all highly trained professionals now, all right? We'll just pick a name. You know what? I'm not using anybody on that list. Because as it happens, I know the best tutor available. Yeah? You got a resume for the guy? What are you doing? Come on, Joe. No, I'm not playing this. This is a silly game. I'm not, we can just, we're right here, we, we can. Hello? You are the world's greatest expert at everything. Okay, you just made a really good point. I'm listening. He needs somebody, Joe, and who better? You know, you said you had nothing to do. This would be something really important to do. Look, Bert, I committed to the buck, okay, Bert, I, okay. Burke, I committed to the buck walls. No, that was never gonna work out, okay? That selfish baby was gonna suck up all your time. And this way, you get to stay here with a promotion. Yeah, I can still do all the nanny stuff. I get pie. Everybody's happy. I guess, you know, teaching Ryder how the world works would be slightly more rewarding than changing diapers. Sure is. Wow. 
Joe Longo. Academic tutor, huh? Never really saw that coming. Well, that's the thing with these older kids. You know, there's less to do minute to minute, but when a parenting moment hits, it's a friggin' tsunami. When it comes to dealing with kids, there really isn't anyone better than I am. You got that right. <laughs> hey, what happened to the Buckwald kid? The what? Oh, crap. The baby. <laughs> I left him on the porch. <laughs> Hey, buddy. <laughs> Don't tell your mom and dad. So in summation, this country's greatness comes from our Western expansion, which is an expression of our entrepreneurial spirit, characterized by who? The businessman, all right? Who's actually the real hero of the American story. This is your lesson? Well, what about the federal government who made all of that possible? <laughs> Are you kidding me? All the government did was get in our way. If you guys are just gonna go... Lincoln got in the way? George frickin' Washington got in the way? You know, what if I just... Who's on our money, Joe? Henry Ford, Donald Trump, Aunt Jemima? Is any of this gonna be on the test? They should be, because they made this country. No, they made this country breakfast. I hate parent-teacher conferences. They made this country great. You know what would be great is if you went on the roof right now and installed those solar panels I've been sitting outside for... Yeah, you know what? That would be great. But you know what I'm doing right now? I'm educating, all right? I'm expanding his educate mind. Educate the roof. I'm expanding his mind. The roof. I, I will educate... Solar panels. I am I'm not... Doing... Well, listen, Joey is recording in front of a live studio audience. Hey, you look like you could use this. Well, thank you. New dress. Looks great on you. Oh, I can't argue with that. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you haven't really been arguing with me about anything lately. We're getting along really well. Oh, my God, are you dying? No. Are you? <laughs> Please. Look at me. You know, I think one of the reasons we're getting along so well is because I'm finally dating somebody I really like. You know, Eric is nice and hot and smart and hot. Not even freaked out that he's a single parent. You know, I I'm finally dating a real grown-up. A hot one. <laughs> You know, I am actually also dating a grown-up who is also very hot. And coincidentally, uh, Lauren... La, 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 la. Don't tell me, don't tell me. I think that's another reason we're getting along so well. You have your thing, I have mine. You know, we should just keep our things separate. Agreed. Our things will never touch. <laughs> mm. That's Eric. Get separate. Fast. Gladly. Hey, hey. sexy little kid. I hope you don't mind. I brought a wingman. Mel, this is Daniel. Hey, little man. Uh, I don't mean little. I mean, you know, you'll probably grow. Oh, I'm sorry. My ex, the dragon lady, flaked on me again. Just gave me one of her surprise texts. Oh, I understand. You know, you're the responsible one, so you pick up the slack. <laughs> you must be picking up a lot of slack these days, because you are very firm up there. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for the change of plans. What? I'm sorry, I was in my happy place. <laughs> hey, uh, would you like to come out with Daniel and I tonight? I can promise you of some crappy pizza, a ball pit, and a loud, obnoxious clown. Sure. Yeah, I'm easy to get along with. <laughs> hey, Eric. Ah, uh, hey, Joe. Is that your kid? Sure is. Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm Joe. What are these for? Well, uh, well you can do a lot of things with those. Uh, you can uh, juggle. See? Look at that. <laughs> Not a very good juggler. But guess what? Look what I can do. I got your nose. Here you go. You know how I know that's your nose? Because there's a big green booger in it. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, they love the booger magic. Yeah, can you take him with us? He's awesome. No, the place we're going already has an obnoxious clown. <laughs> it's all good. All good. It's all okay. Listen, dude, I gotta talk to you about this uh, math test that I gave you. What? I tried my hardest. Yeah, you put C for every answer. Well, was it wrong every time? It wasn't multiple choice. <laughs> you know, I'm getting the feeling you're not really focusing on your schoolwork. It's because I'm not there. Ever since I got suspended, I, I can't concentrate. I, I never thought I'd say this, but I miss school. <laughs> Feel for you, buddy. You know, it's just so unfair that on your school field trip, you had to go smoke pot. Lennox, sure. you're still at school. All right, tell me one thing that's happening there. All right, throw me a bone. Um, oh, okay, here's something. All the cute girls that you like, 
We still don't know you exist. Which ones exactly? Lennox? Hey, there she is. So tell me, how was your date at the uh, ball pit? No, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot we're keeping things separate. Screw separate. I wasn't a date, it was torture. Look what that kid did to me. Look at pizza, cotton candy, soy sauce. What kind of pizza joint has soy sauce? Okay, we're gonna have to take these things to the dry cleaners. <laughs> Although, actually, it may be more humane to just take this one out back and shoot it. And that sneaky little monster waited until his daddy was off getting tokens and then blam him. Pizza to the ass? Pizza to the ass. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I have to get Daniel to like me if I'm gonna keep Eric. Well, here's a novel idea. Why don't you try working on your parenting skills, okay? Try relating to the kid, but you have to do it on his level, and kids need rules and limits. Okay, what makes you such a parenting expert? Says the woman who hired me as her nanny. <laughs> yeah, I was desperate, remember? I told you, all right? I told you a million times. Like, I have a big family. I have lots of nieces and nephews. Seriously, ask anyone in Jersey. I'm like a total kid magnet. Oh, that could not sound creepier. <laughs> oh, and just so you know, I am also dating a single parent, okay? Lauren is a mom. She has a daughter. And today, I'm meeting her daughter, Dee Dee. And the things I got planned. <laughs> la, 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 separate. Wow, Xander. That might be the most beautiful bloody skull I've ever seen. Yeah, the blood sucking leeches spell out mom. <laughs> it's gonna be a tattoo for my buddy Evan. Can you do one for me? Uh. What? I'm serious. What kind of tattoo would look good on me? Don't get a tattoo. Why not? Because tattoos always look trashy on girls. What? Uh, that is a total double standard. No, it's a fact. <laughs> yeah, a fact according to sexist pigs. All I meant was that tattoos aren't for nice girls. Oh, I'm a nice girl. So now you're labeling me. Well... You know, how about we stop talking and just, uh, kiss? Sorry. Nice girls, don't do that. <laughs> Coming. Hey there, come on in, ladies. I'm not a lady, oh. I'm a boy. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's just you said Dee Dee, so I figured girl. Oh, those are his initials, Dee Dee. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay, you know, because um, I'm just gonna keep the princess dressed for me. <laughs> uh, listen, I'm just gonna go use the potty before we go. Oh, that is such a mom thing to say. Hey, when you're a hot mom, you could say anything and it sounds sexy. <laughs> How about carpool? Still sexy. Juice box. You are killing me right now. Hey, Drew, you gonna juggle? Um, how'd you know I could juggle? Daniel, what are you doing here? No, 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 no. This is, this is Dee Dee. Daniel Davidson. You met him two nights ago. What? Yeah, no. Look at that, it's the same kid. Holy crap, it's the same kid! <gasps> that means... You're dating the dragon lady. And you're dating the world's oldest frat boy. Uh, gross, our thing's touched. Oh. Hey, and just for the record, OK, Lauren, she's not a dragon. Not what? Not going to believe what we just found out. It, this is <laughs> it's so funny, honey. It's hilarious, I, I, actually. Uh, guess, guess what? Mel's dating daddy. Huh? <laughs> small world. So small. Awkward. <laughs>10 o'clock at night, you're making breakfast? What's the matter when I do anything, Joe? Day, night, it's all the same. I'm here all the time. I don't get to see my friends, and Holly dumped me because I'm a loser with a drug problem. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd say this. I miss, miss school. school. <laughs> making fun of me? Yeah, I'm making fun of you. You say that 50 times a day. Here's a novel idea. If you miss school, why don't you try doing your school work? All right, this art project has been sitting over here for three days. Come on, look, it says right here. Use recycled materials to make an assemblage that says something about yourself. You know, maybe I could use an old tire to say, I wish someone would run me over. <laughs> See, we're popping now. We're coming up with stuff. I'm not inspired here, Joe. I mean, at least at school, I could see Lord Jenkins walk by in her belly shirt and short shorts and leather boots. And uh... I see the uh, painful breakup with Holly is scabbing over quite well. <laughs> Look, man up, all right? And get your art project done by Thursday. Thursday? When is Thursday, Joe? Tomorrow? The next day? I don't even know anymore. He seems to be eating from the pan. 
Yeah, he misses school. Well, I guess it's better than smoking from the pot. <laughs> so, uh, tonight on uh, your date, did the fact that we're dating two halves of a divorced couple seem to come up? Actually, it did, along with a very interesting anecdote that I promised not to repeat. Good. I don't want to hear it. Here it is. Did you know the entire time that your jerky boyfriend was married to Lauren, he never once, never once bought her a birthday present? And would you like to know why? No, I would not. Good. I'll tell you. She has issues with her birthday and refused to let him acknowledge it in any way. Well, sure, yeah, after he sent her that cringy singing pirate gram to her office. Because Pirates of the Caribbean is her favorite movie. Not anymore. The guy got drunk and cut her leg with a sword. That is not what happened. Yes, it is. Oh, were you there? As much as you were. OK, this is weird, right, what we're doing? I know. Yeah, normally we just argue about our own problems. Yeah. I mean, you know, if we start to fight their battles, when are we going to have any time for our own arguments? No, 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 uh-uh. <laughs> we can't have that, no. You know what the fix is? Mm. I do. You're going to have to break up with Eric. What? No. You have to break up with Lauren. I started dating Eric way before you two started going out. It was the same day. We had lunch. You had dinner. Lunch wins. Look, I made a connection with the kid, OK? I have innate parenting skills. No, you have inept parenting skills. You didn't even recognize him. He was wearing a hat. Oh, he's a master of disguise. <laughs> Look, the kid likes me, OK? I mean, it's clear that I would be like, you know, the greatest stepdad of all time. Well, he'll like me, too, eventually. You do realize he's going to be leaving for college in 12 years? I've known you three years now, and I'm only up to, like, meh. Well, I am not breaking up with Eric. I'm not breaking up with Lauren. Fine. Fine. I'm also not leaving this kitchen first. Uh, neither am I. Damn, I got to pee. <laughs> Oh, what happened? You get fired? No, I'm doing my art project like Joe's making me. Oh, that's good. See? Throw yourself into your schoolwork. Could you not say school? Just, I'm kind of fragile right now. <laughs> uh, for me, for me. Separate life coming through. Hey. Hey, how are you doing? Sorry. Uh, I know it was supposed to be just us, but Mr. Responsibility didn't show up at school on time. Oh, it's okay. I, I love having the little guy around. Ah, uh, me too, because he's such a cutie. Hey, you know what? Why don't you and Joe still go out, and Daniel can stay here with me, Dad's fun girlfriend now. No, I don't, really? I don't think that would Really? He wouldn't mind? Not at all. Hey, kiddo, let's... Oh, I got your nose. Oh, real boogers. <laughs> Which I love, like all good parents do. <laughs> hey, you know what? Why don't we make a cookie pizza? I'll race you to the kitchen. Yay! <laughs> See, the kid likes me. Kid likes sugar. OK, Daniel, uh, you play with these bowls and spoons while I call the bakery and order a cookie pizza. I thought we were going to make one. Oh, but ordering is so much more fun. I like licking spoons. Well, you can lick the phone. <laughs> uh, Emma, I need your advice. Xander is telling me what I can and can't do because I'm a woman. Is this about sex? No. Drugs? No. Well, you know what? You are a strong, independent young woman. You can do whatever you want to do. Well, except date a drummer, because that just ends badly. OK. Thanks. Hi, yes, I need a cookie pizza, stat. Mel Burke, you have my credit card on file. Uh, no hiding in the oven, <laughs> sweetie. Are you sure you don't mind leaving Daniel here? Because I think he'd have a lot more fun with me. I, I mean, with us. Yeah, but if he stays here, we can go have some adults-only fun. Mm. See you later, Daniel. <laughs> Come on. What? Where were you? You're texting to meet you there at four. Yeah, and there is the school, obviously. Oh, yeah, it was so obvious that I showed up at your apartment. Hey, I thought I heard your handsome voice. Did, did we have plans? No, my ex-wife sucks at texting. And my ex-husband sucks at listening. OK, all right, you know what? Hey, guys, let's just I'll bring it down here a notch, OK? Clearly, the uh, texting thing has not been working. Joe's absolutely right. What happens? <laughs> I'm guessing you guys haven't had an actual face-to-face -face conversation in some time. Yeah, well, every never time I try to skip voice oh, okay, uh, b -b 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 OK, OK, I'll tell you what. Why don't we all go sit down, OK? Let's sit on the couch there, OK? Let's go sit down and, you know, we'll try and work out a little schedule here for the next week, OK? And we can all act like responsible adults. Yes, and I will take Daniel to the park. Not if I take him first. <laughs> What are you looking for? Chinese characters, hearts, butterflies? None of that poser crap. I want the trashiest thing you've got. Let me show you my fave. Works for ankle, butt, or tramp stamp. Oh, what part of the... Oh, ew, 
No. Uh, maybe something trashy light and perhaps something that requires a little less shaving. <laughs> Showed us. More than once. I can tell time, too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm very connected to this. Let me have it. No, it's old and valuable. I hate you. Here you go. That was that was great parenting, Burke, the way you just gave into that manipulation. Oh, would you rather hear him count some more? That's a good point. <laughs> that one I watch. What happened to the one I gave you? I do in the hole. Got it in the first time. Oh, no, the storm drain? Joe, get it! Is it in there? Oh, there it is. Okay, hold on a minute. Uh, I can't, I can't quite reach it. See, I have the girth, but don't quite have the length of my arm. Oh, it, it's big. Go, go, go. I can't get it out. That's my dead grandma's watch. What's dead in me? That's nice, Burke. While you're at it, why don't you just tell the kids there's no Santa Claus? There's no what? There's no Santa Claus. I sign him up for karate because he likes it. Sure, he needs a way to work out his aggression. I wonder where he gets that from. Wow, there's people. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, we didn't know anyone else was here. I'm Lauren, this is Eric. We're friends of Mel and Joe. Dragon Lady and Peter Pan, right? <laughs> this is just great. That watch is 100 years old. Maybe it's time for a new one. No, I'm getting this one out. I d we just need a, a skinny tool to grab it. I got one. <laughs> You're not seriously thinking about putting him down there. Oh, please. I used to put my brothers down these storm drains all the time. Hey, it feels like going on a little adventure to the center of the earth. Me! You do! Come on, get in there. Yeah, I'm telling you, these storm drains are like a second home to us. And all the rich kids, they had tree houses, but we had the good old-fashioned gutters. I got it! Hey, <gasps> He got it. All right, buddy. Here we go. Now, give me your hand. Let's get you out of there. Come on. Come here. Hold on. Can you stand on your tippy toes? Can I? Can I? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't reach him. OK, it's just a matter of taking the proper steps. Um, first, I'm going to take a deep cleansing breath. And then I'm going to panic. <laughs> OK, thank you very much. Fire department's on their way. Good. Hopefully they'll get here before it starts getting dark and all the rats come out. The cute little rats. <laughs> I'm bored. Oh, come on. Now there's lots of fun things you can do down there. Yeah, let's play Don't Touch Anything. Especially if it has eyes. Can I play a game on your phone? Fine. Here you go, honey. Just don't look at the photos. Look, it's Daddy on your phone. But no, I said don't look at the photos. No, he's calling. Hi, Daddy. Hang up. Hang up. Daddy, guess where I am? You had to give me your phone. You know what? I didn't put him down the storm drain. <laughs> oh, like you're such great parents. <laughs> Doug, how much is this going to hurt? You ever been shot? <laughs> Not as bad as that. Wait, wait, wait. Don't even think about talking me out of this. I know. You tweeted getting a tattoo. Hashtag don't talk me out of it. I just thought you should know. No, I just... I wanted to say that you were right. Lennox, you should be able to do whatever you want. Damn straight. But if you were going to get a tattoo, I thought maybe you'd want a custom design. So you'd make me one? I already did. Wow. It's really beautiful. It's just the right amount of trashy for a nice girl like me. know how it is. You turn your back for one second and without any prompting from us, and the kid just throws himself in a storm drain. You know, kids are so curious. I mean, that's that's what I love about them. They're just they're so curious. Where is he? Where's my baby? Oh, honey, what happened? Joe put me in big hole in the ground and said there's no Santa. What? <laughs> well, well, now, now when he says it like that, you know, it sounds bad. So let me get a lot. Is that true, Mel? Well, in my defense, your son threw it in the hole. <laughs> in my phone, please? Aw, oh, such a good kid. And look, a scratch to always remember this day by. I don't believe you two. You're both horrible, horrible people. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Eric, Lauren, uh, let's just bring things down a notch, okay? I think we could all talk about this like calm, reasonable people. 
You guys are breaking up with us, right? Yes, right. we are. Okay, did you see the smile on Daniel's face when they pulled him out of that storm drain? That kid had a blast. You know what? We'd make good parents. Yeah, we'd make great parents. Look at the job we're doing with Lennox and Ryder. They're clean, they're fed, they're doing great in school. Well, you know, the one who didn't get kicked out. You know what? One for two. Batting 500 puts you in the Hall of Fame. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> hey, Lennox, what's new? Well, not much. Just this bitch and tattoo. How much do you love it? Enough to kill the guy that did it. Sweetie, how could you do this without talking to me first? Relax. It'll wash off in a month. Honey, that's not how tattoos work. No, Xander drew it on me. It's not real. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh, 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 oh. I can breathe again. <laughs> I mean, even though I am hip and down with the tats. I was gonna get a real one, but... You know, then I thought of you and I realized I just, I couldn't go through with it. You see? She hears my wise counsel in her head at all times. I'm like a shapely blonde Buddha. Yeah, actually, I just thought about how horrible that little faded pig tattoo looks on your... Uh, not about me. Wait, 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 back up, back up, back up, back up. No, I want to hear more about this little piggy. Like, where does it live? Hey, it's a chubby devil and we will never discuss where he lives. Oh, come on. Give me a hint, huh? You sitting on him? Because you sleep between two pillows? To quality parenting. Yes. Quality parenting. By the way, where's Ryder? I have no clue. Oh, he's been in the garage all day with a bunch of duct tape and some box cutters. Yeah, I was kind of worried about him, but, you know, not enough to go all the way back there and check. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Really good, actually. How do you guys like my new school? Okay, you do realize this isn't a real school, right, honey? Yeah, of course. It's my art project. I miss school so much that I made my own. Wow. You really captured it. It even mm. smells like school. Yeah, it's grilled cheese. And uh, sexual frustration. <laughs> well, how come you're sitting all alone instead of over here with your buddies? I can't sit there. That's the cool kid's table. You know what, dude? A plus, man. Seriously, great work. You keep this up, you can start building yourself a great college. <laughs> and Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Full day budget hearing. Ugh. Do you know how tiring it is to act like you're listening all day long? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? Oh. <laughs> but by and large, you like your job down at City Hall, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, everyone holds the elevator door for me, and just like Batman, I get to say I'm friends with the mayor. So it wouldn't even be a good place to work part-time, right? I think I forgot my purse in the car. What's that in your arm? Oh, I think I forgot something else in the car. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you forgot to tell me that a part-time job opened up in the Toledo Controller's office. It's not the right job for you, Joe. Aha! Uh -huh. So you did know about it. Well, are you looking for work behind my back? Apparently, that's where the jobs are. It's paper pushing. You'd be looking for budget reductions and redundancies. It's not sexy. And hosing bird poop off your mailbox, that's sexy? It is when you do it. Look, and besides, you're happy here. So very happy. Happiness requires personal fulfillment and a little self-respect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I just, you know, don't really think that I'm getting that here. Really? Oh. Will you knock that off? <laughs> okay, look, it's true. I didn't tell you. But, you know, if you apply for that job, all that scandal business is going to come right back up. I just didn't want to see you publicly embarrassed again. Burke, I'm a male nanny who hoses bird poop off your mailbox. I think I'm, you know, past the whole embarrassment thing. <laughs> all right, just get me in the room for the interview. Who makes the decision? Well, there's a committee of seven people, but really it comes down to two. Okay, who are they? Give me uh, their names. Well, there's Paul Wagner and uh, some other person. Okay, who? Uh, some lady. I don't know. <laughs> me. <laughs> it's all good. me. 
So you're one of two people that make the call on a job that I am unbelievably qualified for, and yet you kept it from me. How long are you going to keep nursing this wound, Joe? It's, it's been one minute. Exactly. It's time to move on. Did you say dinner? The... No. Could you say dinner? No. But I will say this. Your aunt could have put me up for this really great job, and she didn't. What's up with that, Aunt Mel? What? It's a part-time thingy. And worse, it'll take your tutor away from you. Oh, no. My hard-ass teacher will be in my face a whole lot less. Boo freaking who? <laughs> oh, the kid's on board. Yeah, why are you standing in Joe's way? Fine, I'll get you the interview. Thank you. And thank you, guys. It's nice to know that you have my back. Sure. You know, you deserve a crack at an important management-level job that fully utilizes your executive skill set. Mm-hmm. Totally agree. Now, can you manage some dinner? Or... <laughs> You know I start rehearsals tomorrow. Uh-huh. It's the play where I'm kissing another boy, so just making sure you don't freak out about it. This guy? Not worried. It's Archer Adams. Not my type, but the school blog named him sexiest upperclassman, non-jock category. Yeah. I just know you're doing the play to broaden yourself as a writer, not to kiss some guy. Speaking of kissing a guy, what are we doing this weekend? We need to break in this new watermelon lip gloss. Ooh. Well, I don't know. I got a lot of work to do on my art school portfolio. Hey, do you remember that beautiful spot at Toledo Beach we went for our first date? Oh, how could I forget? I still haven't gotten all the sand out of my ear. <laughs> uh, what were you thinking? I'm going back there to draw rocks. Uh-oh, no, I can't be the first one here. It's gonna look like I'm on your side. Aren't you on my side? <laughs> Yes, but secretly, which makes it even better. Shh. Yay, Joe. Relax, Burke. I'm going to knock this interview out of the park. I've already gone through five years of these city budgets, and I've got a lot of ideas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really? What? That was totally sincere. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today, Mr. Long Cow. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Uh, thank you for coming in today. It's very nice to meet you. I'm Joe Longo. Yeah, I can read. Look, we need somebody with a sharp eye who can spot inefficiencies and waste. Well, I've already isolated uh, four areas of budget redundancy. Uh, it's something I like to call the Longo Initiative for Cost Cutting, or, uh, Lick. <laughs> the problem I see with you is that there's no controller experience. Nothing. Zip. Now, where do we get this guy? <clears throat> <laughs> You know, if, if, if I can just counter that by saying that my vast experience in the private sector has more than qualified... Wait a minute. Joe Longo, aren't you the guy from that financial scandal? That was your crooked brother-in-law, right, Burke? Was it? Huh. What do you know? I guess you're right. Um, look, I... I had nothing to do with that malfeasance that occurred. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. You're working for Burke now? Let me see that. I didn't know you were gonna... Yes, indeed, he works for me. <laughs> I'm, uh... I'm her executive... Director of, um, Household Affairs. So you do have experience with government, uh, indirectly. Now, do you trust this guy in your house? Yeah, I do. Well, that's good enough for me. You're hired, Longo. In jobs like this, it's all about trust. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this year is our last three fiscal years. So, you know, just go on and do your thing. Lick it. Happy to. You see what I did there? My trust in you got you this job. The job you weren't going to tell me about? <sighs> You've really got to learn to let things go, Joe. Now get cracking on that mountain of paperwork. Go suck it. Lick it. Whatever. <laughs>
The, the scene, Lennox? I, I meant the whole scene. Oh, of course. Yes, words. Words are very good, too. <laughs> so look what I had flown in just for Joe. And Yona's famous from Jersey City. Yep. So, um, we can fly in pizza from another state, but I can't buy any sneakers. Well, it's his favorite. A gift like this clearly says, I should have told you about the job, I was worried about nothing, and I'm glad you got hired. It's putting a lot of pressure on a pizza. Yeah, but this way I don't actually have to apologize. <laughs> hey, Lennox. Lennox, everything okay? Nothing happened. It was just a rehearsal. Who's to say it means anything? Can we just drop it? Sorry to badger you like that. <laughs> Surprise! Look what I so thoughtfully got for you, pizza. Oh, I Mignona's mean, famous. I, I love this place. She got it with extra cheese and double meaning. Yeah, and grand, expensive gesture to celebrate your first week on the job. Thank you. Thank you. Can I talk to you just real quick in the other room? Mm -hmm. So... There's nothing that didn't happen. Did it not happen with Archer Adams? Oh, shut up. You're not even at school. Yeah, but I read the play. It's pretty hot. You know, a lot of romances start on set because of all the, um, rehearsing. <laughs> Just look at Brad and Angelina. You know nothing. I know Xander's about to find out he's Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> so, look, I wanted to talk to you about this first, but I was going over the budget for the city, and the numbers are not adding up. There's money missing. Do you know anything about this? Okay. About a month ago, I used petty cash to buy two dozen mini bunk cakes for a staff meeting. Nobody ate them, so I brought them home. The discrepancy is $1.2 million. Okay, that's not me. Damn it. Why, why am I always standing five feet away when other people steal money? It's like these scandals. They will just not leave me alone. You know, neither will hot women, but that's like a whole nother 45 minutes. <laughs> Joe, this happened before you got there. That means you've done a good job. You were hired to find inefficiencies. You found 1.2 million of them. No, no, these, these, these are not inefficiencies, Mel. This is a, it's a big pile of government money that grew legs and walked away. Although for that kind of money, it could have bought a Ferrari and driven itself away. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go tell Wagner tonight. Joe, not every million dollars that's missing is a scandal. You know, it could just be some good old-fashioned government waste. Have faith in the system. <laughs> Those are some pretty great looking rocks. Yeah, I was trying to capture the way the waves carve. You know, I'm sorry, I've been in my own head lately. I should have asked you first thing. Uh, how'd your rehearsal go? Well, you know, the usual, nothing special. Certainly nothing exciting. Just, you know, talk, talk, kiss, 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 kiss. <laughs> but I'd prefer to kiss a guy I'm actually going out with. Well, that can be arranged. <laughs> Don't be afraid to hold it a little longer and try turning your head into it, you know? <laughs> Is that what you were looking for? Little bit. Maybe it'd be better if we stood up. <laughs> now tell me you must have my lips. What is that, a line from the play? No, just say it. It's fun. I thought the kissing was the fun part. <laughs> so why do I have to say that? Because you're swept away with your passion for me, like the excitement when we first met and you can no longer control yourself. Oh, my phone's buzzing. Oh. <laughs> I must have my phone. <laughs> oh, it's the guy from the silkscreen shop. I, I really got to take this. No hurry. Bet she didn't know I was over here the whole time. You were listening to us? Yeah, and watching you try and cast Xander in the new play of yours called Kissing Archer Adams. <laughs> All right. What I'm doing with Archer is acting that looks like kissing. But when I kiss Xander, that means something because he's the only boy I truly care about. Mm-hmm. So in the play, is your acting going to be more believable than it is right now? So every month, the parks disbursement should be getting this $32,000, and every month, it just doesn't show up. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's gone. All, um, all, uh, one, $1.2 million worth. Joe, if the government decides that Toledo's a little money gets misplaced once in a while, uh, it's like when change falls between the cushions of a couch. That would be a pretty big couch. <laughs> so you see why we had to meet tonight. I mean, you know, we're gonna have to do something. Or we don't do anything. I'm sorry, what? Here's the thing, you don't need another scandal in your life. Wait a minute, Wait, this, this, this happened long before I started working here. Well, who's to say, really? How would it look for your friend, you know? The councilwoman. Something like this coming out, it can really 
They can really damage your future. You know why you're here, don't you? You're here because I can trust you. Yeah, you can trust me not to blow the whistle on your uh, money-sucking couch. <laughs> ah, it's very complicated, man, but hasn't your reputation been through enough? Let me take you out to dinner sometime. You know, I'm thinking steak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bet you are. Big, greasy, slimy piece of steak. It's him, Burke. Huh. Wagner's the one who's been taking all the money out of the budgets for the parks. Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm positive. Look, that's why he hired me. See, he knew if I said anything, it was gonna blow up on me and you. Crap, it's gonna look like I'm involved. Like I brought you in to cover my tracks. Oh, there goes my political future. Oh, I never should have recommended you for this job. You didn't. You hid it from me. Not well enough. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, there, there, there is one thing that we might be able to try, okay? When things started to go south at Scanlon, the FBI came to me and they asked me if I would help set up a sting on Lewis. So you want to run a secret spy operation on Wagner? Well, uh, oh, maybe we could crawl through air ducts and lower ourselves through rotating fan blades. What do you think, you're Bruce Willis? I could do what he does. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, look, all we have to do is get Wagner to say that he did it while we record him. So you're gonna wear a wire? Well, no, 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 not, not me. I mean, you know, my clothes are way too form-fitting. There'd be nowhere to put it. I know where I'd put it. No, you're gonna be the one wearing the wire, okay? What? No, I have a very specific look with clean lines and classic curves. <laughs> Kirk, you know it's not a reel-to-reel -reel tape deck, right? Well, why don't you just get a looser sport jacket and, you know, hide it in there? What? Me and Baggy clothes? That would, no, that would put up so many red flags. Okay, this is not that difficult. Look, say this is our secret recording device. Yeah, what, what do you, what do you... It's gonna do that every time. Well, just, like, grip it with your pecs or something. What do you, what do you mean, grip it with my... That. Yeah, I think Wagner's gonna realize that I don't have a third rectangular boob. ML, can I ask you something, woman to woman? Chica a chica? Lay it on me. Have you ever gotten an amazingly hot kiss from the totally wrong guy? Yes, once. From 2001 to 2005. You know the play that I'm in? Well, I'm kissing this guy, Archer, and he's kissing me back, and it's different from when I kiss Xander. It's... More exciting? Much more. You know, I'm thinking there might be a strong connection with Archer. Well, what about Xander? I don't know. I mean, things have kind of lost their sizzle. He spends all of his time drawing rocks. Honey, serious relationships can't always be thrilling. You know, eventually all guys draw rocks. So it starts off exciting and then drops off to bleh? Nothing wrong with bleh. Look, there's no fireworks on July 5th, but it's still nice and warm. I'm too young to settle for warm. I need hot. So are you saying you're ready to break up with Xander? Absolutely not, but don't you think I owe it to myself to find out if there's something there with Archer? I mean, I kiss. Okay, come back from the kiss. A kiss is messing with your head. Take it from someone with a little more experience. Okay, a lot more experience. You don't want to risk what you have with Xander. You know what? I'm gonna call Archer. <laughs> Honey, you're playing with fire. It's not worth it. Ah, who am I kidding? I'd do the exact same thing. I think this extra rehearsal time could really help us. Good idea, Lennox. Well, you learned so much in this process. I'm really enjoying it. I mean, the acting. You know, discovering the truth in every moment. I still feel like the kiss could use more... Definition. Oh, I totally agree. What do you mean? Well, let's just let the characters guide us. When Alejandro leans into Clara, he's he's really hoping that. Stop! That's not how you do it. When you kiss a girl, you gotta mean it. Let me show you how it's done. How was that? Pretty much perfect. I'm taking you to Toledo Beach right now. Just the two of us, and we'll watch the sunset. Go get your books. You don't have to work on your portfolio. Screw that. Besides, I already turned it in. <laughs> hey, man. Thanks for the heads up. She really was feeling unappreciated. I'm telling you, a little passion goes a long way. And anyway, it did as much for me as for you guys. Kevin was really upset about all this kissing. The last thing I need is a jealous boyfriend. <laughs> 
You're a talented actor. Oh, no doubt I am fabulous. All right, let's go, babe. I'm sorry to skip out on rehearsals, but when your man kisses you like that... I get it. Trust me. You're gonna like the ribeye here. It's not cheap, but... We can afford it, right? Yes, we can. Are you two gonna tell me what this is about, or are you gonna keep shooting each other looks like a couple of bad poker players? Here's the deal. We both know that money is missing. Missing. And uh, we promise not to say anything about the money as long as... as long as we get a piece of the pie. Yeah, and a nice piece, too. You know, with fruit in it, made with lots of dough. Uh, I'm sure we can speak candidly because no one here is wearing a wire, right? Clearly, Longo, the way you dress, there's nowhere to put one on you. So I'm guessing it's the esteemed councilwoman. Now, is that a recording device tucked underneath there, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> oh, total amateurs. I expected a little more ingenuity. Hmm. Did you get the extended warranty? No, I just... Oh, not bad. <laughs> you told me you couldn't see it. Well, I'm sorry for not staring down your shirt all night. Oh, <laughs> lovely Anthony, as always. I think we should just drop the whole matter and enjoy ourselves. Let's just, uh, relax. Savor the good life. While well, the city of Toledo foots the bill, I'm gonna lick it. <laughs> you, you actually gonna eat? What? Wasting a perfectly good ribeye won't prove anything. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god, let me just. Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold, just hold on a second. No? That's just. He's. He's fine. Don't worry, I, I got it. Really, eat. Enjoy it, okay? Um, that was a pretty big bite there, Paul. <laughs> So, look, here's my proposal, all right? Um, <clears throat> I'm going to come over there and save your life, as long as you admit that you stole the money. Would you do that little thing for me? <clears throat> yeah, you will? OK, so so you you did, in fact, steal the money? <clears throat> you did? OK, all right, great. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. <clears throat> Darn, she blows. OK. <clears throat> you know, I made him learn how to do that when he took the nanny job, so I just technically saved your life, too. Uh -huh. That's very cute, Longo, but your proof is in a glass of water, so you got nothing. But you did take the money. Yeah, I took the money. But no one's gonna believe it to you. A Wall Street con man is naive, co-conspirator. You guys say anything, and you both go down. You know what's great, Paul? At that little store where they sell the recording devices, they also sell ones that, um, look just like salt shakers. <laughs> That way, amateurs like us can lull professionals like you into a false sense of security with a decoy. <laughs> you double cross and snake! Oh, Ooh, let the record yeah. show that the councilman was looking at me when he made that unkind remark. <laughs> let the record also show the councilman is a douchebag. You want to get that food to go? Because we should probably just head down to the police station, like, right oh, now. Oh, yeah, let's stop off at Channel 6 on the way. You know, they'll eat this up. And you know what? I bet they won't choke on it. Yeah, <laughs> it'll probably go down smooth and easy. You guys think you're cute, don't you? Yeah, we do. We got a thing. We just kind of do the... <laughs> what are you doing? It's a $60 steak. Let's go. <laughs>
I'm sorry, did I lose you? No, just hold it till I'm too sloshed to comprehend your disgusting story. <laughs> Nothing happened. I didn't get all the way in to the back seat. Anyway, now I can hardly move, and I'm probably never going to be seeing Jessica ever again. Well, you know, the research is clear. The longer two people wait to have sex, the stronger the relationship will be. According to who? Your grandma? No. According to this new book that everybody's talking about, close your legs, open your heart. If they make that a movie, I hope it's not in 3D. It's made me rethink my future relationships, and I think you should, too. You know, don't you want a girlfriend? Don't you want love? Don't you want happiness? I just want this piercing pain to stop. In your back? No, in my ears. <laughs> it's all good. All good. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. All right. As far as I can see, it's all good. All good. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. All right. I guess you're stuck with me. Good morning. Well, it's about time. I've been waiting here for 45 minutes. I'm gonna tell you, the way you run this office is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> oh, good. We've been trying to run the office more gorgeously. I'm sorry. It's just that I didn't expect the chiropractor to be so, um, you... Hi, I'm Joe Longo. <laughs> Dr. Mullins, or Chelsea, if you like. I do like. <laughs> Let's take a look at that back. Okay. Yeah, put your legs here and your elbows. Okay. How'd you injure yourself? Honestly, <laughs> I was um, trying to get something in the back of a car. Mm. Okay, I'm going to wrap my arms around you and lay you down. Most women buy me dinner before they try that move. <laughs> Glad to see you didn't hurt your sense of humor. Yeah, I'm actually not really even hurt that bad. I just, ah, oh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. <laughs> All right, I'm going to okay. adjust you now, okay? You're gonna... So take a deep breath. Okay. Hold it in. Right. Count one, huh? two, three. Oh, my. You'll be all right. Are you all right? Actually, that was great. I, I feel fantastic. Oh, that was nothing. I'm not getting off this table until we have you in total alignment. Bring it on. <laughs> I didn't know you were working on a superhero short story, and making it about a homeschool kid is such a clever twist. Oh, please. That's not mine. It's writer's English assignment for Joe, so you don't have to be nice. It really sucked me in. Yeah, the suck part is right. Oh, hey, writer. I really like your story, man. You guys setting me up? No, I, I think it would make a killer graphic novel. I mean, maybe I could do some sketches if that's something you'd be into. Wait, what? You want to team up with my creepy little brother? Have you been huffing your markers? You really want to work with me? Yeah, sure. Awesome. All right, yeah. Let me just uh, clear my calendar. Done. <laughs> we can start right now. Uh, so, uh, so how do you see this guy? Uh, it's about my height, my build, brown hair. So just like you, except girls go out with him? <laughs> Man, you totally get him. Wow. The origin story of the Justice League of Nerds. God, boys get excited about the most stupid and useless things. Oh, jacket with lots of zippers. <laughs> Did you see those buckles? Those buckles are hot. Ugh, I want to have babies with those buckles. <laughs> are you going to buy it? Of course I'm going to buy it. I have a responsibility to my constituents to look amazing. <laughs> Add to cart. Hello, ladies. Hey. Well, your look at me walk is back. I guess you're feeling better. Yeah, yeah, I saw this chiropractor, Chelsea. I cannot tell you how fantastic she is. Actually, um, I can, and I will. Oh, uh, Joe met a cute girl. You know how this one goes. It'll be over soon. The relationship, not the story. What the? Did you see that? She just took a shot at me. Yeah, she's growing up. So, you met a cute chiropractor, and you're gonna ask her out? I already did. We really connected. The fuse has been lit, and I'm thinking tonight, uh... Joe, this is what I was talking about. You just met this woman. You know, she cracks your back, endorphins flood your brain, creating a false sense of intimacy, and you fall for her. You know, it's a hormone rush that you can't resist. Close your legs, chapter three. What's the matter with wanting to be intimate when you really connect with somebody? Don't you want a shot at a real relationship and not just quick sex? Hey, give me a little credit, Burke, all right? Sex with me is never quick. Yeah, I'm sure it's long and drawn out. Can't you see how waiting might do you some good? Yeah. Well, when you meet somebody that you really connect with, we'll see how good you are at waiting. 
Oh, I can wait. In fact, I have decided right now that I too will hold off on consummating a new relationship. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. With who? I found him online. He's Italian. Mm -hmm. He's beautiful. He's made from a cow. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll just tell you. He's an expensive leather jacket. How is buying a leather jacket anything like having sex? Wow, you do not understand women at all. Come on in. <laughs> this is uh, me. <laughs> well, that was fun. I like a guy who's not afraid to sit through a romantic comedy. Hey, are you kidding? Romantic comedies have taught me a lot of great lessons over the years. No? Oh? Like what? Um, okay. Well, like if, um, if a woman is playing with your hair when she's looking at you, that means that she, that she likes you. <laughs> True. <laughs> and if you really want to impress someone, you should always just be yourself. Unless you wear glasses, in which case you should get a makeover to a pop song and then be yourself. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. But most importantly, romantic comedies taught me how to identify the perfect moment for a first kiss. And that was it right there. <laughs> Everything okay? I, I, I just, um, I don't want to rush this. I mean, I, I had a great time with you tonight, Chelsea, and I, I just think that we should, uh, we should wait before we do anything big and open our hearts. I don't believe this. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> no, I mean, most guys rush into the physical stuff. It's such a turnoff. My last date tried getting me to have sex with him in the back seat of his car. Men, huh? <laughs> I know, right? But you're not that kind of guy. Couldn't be if I tried. <laughs> so I think you'll understand when I tell you that I'm a virgin. You're what now? A virgin. You're you're a you're a, a, a in in um in what sense? In the sense that I've never, you know, boinked. Boing. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, you really are a virgin. <laughs> Look, I know it's old fashioned, but I just, I always thought that my first time would be more meaningful if I waited for the perfect man. So I hope you're cool with waiting. Yeah, of course I'm cool with waiting. I, I, I love waiting. <laughs> I'm a master waiter. <laughs> Date. Let me guess how long you held out. Um, was the car still moving or did you wait till it parked? It's very funny. It's very funny. But as it turns out, um, Chelsea has us both beat when it comes to waiting because um, she is a virgin. Like, totally? Everywhere? She called sex boinking. Wow, she really is a virgin. Yeah, I guess it's bye bye Chelsea, huh? No, no, that's that's the amazing thing. I mean, yeah, we didn't have sex, but you know what? We we talked and we talked, and it was actually one of the best dates that I've had in a long time. And it, and it turns out that we like the same movies, we follow the same Twitter feeds, we both love watching that video of those those pandas sneezing. Ugh, I thought it was gross hearing about your dates when you do have sex. I'm serious. Look, look, she is saving herself until she falls in love with the perfect guy, and I'm I'm gonna wait around and see if that guy's me. So if Chelsea and I do end up together, I have you to thank. Happy to help. Where are you going? It's 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go for a run. I don't know what it is. Suddenly, I just have, I have all this energy. And, uh, this is what I was thinking for the cover. So that's what I'd look like with muscles. Cartoon me is a player. I'm glad you like it. Hey, nice work on the ending, by the way. I love it when the hero learns that his sister is the devil's spawn and he has to behead her. Just uh, popped into my head one night. So we still need a title. Uh, I was thinking, at homeboy. Who's the at? Homeboy. Homeboy! homeboy. Yeah! All right. Yeah. All right, you know how we should celebrate this moment? Barbecue flavored pork rinds. It's like we're sharing the same brain. I, I have a stash in the garage. Xander, what are you doing here? I just texted you and you said you were busy. Well, I am. I'm working with my boy Ryder on our graphic novel. So you're choosing to spend time with my dorky little brother instead of me? You better have a very good explanation for that. And I do. 
Because being here gives me the opportunity to say that you should totally write this with us. Why would I do that? Because we need you. Yeah, because we, because of our need for you. You know, it's a talented writer, which you are, right? Yeah, I suppose I could take a look. Would you? Oh. <laughs> All right, well, first off, you don't need the sidekick. He's stupid. You're kind of thinking that we need Lose it. Him. He's lost. Um, that was my seat. Uh, good news. The best news. Lennox has joined the homeboy team. When did we decide this? Just now. <laughs> hey. Look at you, running again. <laughs> Sexual frustration is doing wonders for your cardio. I am not frustrated. As a matter of fact, Chelsea and I have had a, had a great week of good old fashioned clean fun. That's right. Yesterday we went swimming, perfectly innocent. And uh, Chelsea wore a bikini that was, that was, that was lovely. And after she got out of the water, she asked me to uh, put some sunscreen on her, on her supple, glistening body, so I did. <laughs> and uh, tomorrow, we're gonna go to her trampoline class so I can watch her bounce. <laughs> so you see, no frustration here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I admit it, it's killing me. Joe, look, I know I suggested waiting, but I meant four dates, not forever. This is clearly cruel and unusual punishment for you. Yeah, it's getting easier. These, um, these shards of glass in my hand are actually helping. Right, look, you have to be honest with yourself and with her. You know, if not for your sake, then at least for my glassware. Are you telling me to break up with a woman because she won't sleep with me? I guess I am. Huh. This is what it feels like to be a douchebag, huh? Yeah, well, you know what? It's not gonna happen because what Chelsea and I have is special, all right? And I'm not giving that up, no matter how much her body glistens when she gets out of the pool in slow motion. How does she friggin' do that? You have to break it off with her before I find exploded pieces of you all over my wall. And I just had these walls painted. Well, it's not gonna happen, all right? Because I am not that kind of guy. Suit yourself. I gotta break up with her. Ryder, I really like what you did here. Not surprised, since it was your suggestion. <laughs> was it? Who even knows? I do have a couple of concerns, though. You know, like, if Homeboy can turn back time in chapter 23, why didn't he just do that in the first chapter? Then he wouldn't get suspended. Because then there wouldn't be a story. And why is the sister so controlling? Well, this is science fiction and in no way based on my actual life at all. Xander, what do you think? Is the sister too controlling? I think, uh... Lennox might have a point. <laughs> yeah, do you know? How about this? You boys come up with a new ending, and then I'll come back and fix it. That sounds good. Dude, she is ruining everything. Someone's got to tell her she's out of the partnership. She's not that bad. Different opinions are a part of the collaborative process. Quiet, here she comes. One more thing. Uh, Xander, your sketch of Homeboy's costume, can you make it a little less 80s cliche? Okay. <laughs> she's got to go. Fine. <laughs> You must be Mel. I'm Chelsea, Joe's friend. Oh, you're the very good chiropractor. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Joe's home. I know. I'm meeting him later. I actually came by to give these to you. Oh, well, come on in. Anyone with sugar is welcome in my house. <laughs> the lemon squares are just my lame excuse. I came by to meet the other woman in Joe's life. Oh, I'm not the other woman. I've never done anything with Joe. <laughs> Neither have I. Oh. <laughs> it's okay if I left too, right? Of course, because I know you're a, you know. You can say it, virgin. It's not a bad word. Well, it wasn't my high school. <laughs> Listen, um, since we're both kind of curious about each other, do you mind if I ask you, how do I do it? Technically, how do you not do it? <laughs> I just think there are more important things in life than sex. Well, sure, but, you know, what do you do when you start feeling like, ugh, you know? Because eventually we all feel a little, ugh, you know? You know, if you have someone that you can let loose the, ugh, with, then you feel so, woo, you know? But what do you do when you don't have the, woo? I know, woo is nice. No, seriously, I don't think you do, because you're not even pronouncing it correctly. It's, woo! Well, I guess I won't find out until it's the right time. Although you do make it sound very appealing. 
I am one of its biggest proponents. <laughs> oh my God, this is so embarrassing. What? My friend Tani just posted this video of me at aerobics. I totally forgot my sports bra. <laughs> you what? I'm bouncing all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> you know, let's just put this phone away, okay, Chelsea? Um, look, I gotta, I gotta tell you something, okay? And this is never really easy to say to somebody, but Chelsea, you, you are an incredible Do you smell smoke? Woman. What? Oh my God, that store over there is on fire. Call 911. Joe! No, no, I'm gonna handle this, all right? You stay here where there's no sex. <laughs> danger, what did I just say, sex? <laughs> I'm in danger, stay here! <laughs> Sorry if I still smell like smoke. <laughs> All I smell is heroism. So, look, um, Chelsea, I was, I was, um, trying to tell you this before the, the whole fire thing. Shh, I, I... don't try to talk right now. I've never seen anything like that. You walked into a burning building while everyone just stood there watching. Yeah, yeah you know, it's, it's, it's really amazing what a week's worth of testosterone will make somebody do. <laughs> You're the most amazing man I have ever met. Oh, well, I, I... Mm. Oh, my God, that feels so good. That feels so good. Okay, you know what? Actually, you know what? Wait, 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 wait. We should stop. <clears throat> should we? I've waited 28 years for the perfect man. And now, I finally found him. You, you, you mean me? <laughs> The wait is over. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm so glad that I saved myself all these years for you, Joe. And just think, we're going to remember this moment for the rest of our lives. <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> mm. Wow. Mm. I... Mm. Uh, ow! Ow! Oh! Oh! My back! Oh, my... I pulled it again. You know what? Probably when I was saving all those people from the burning building. Uh, I'm gonna go get some ice. Oh, you want me to get on top? Give you an adjustment? No, no. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't want you working on your night off. That. That. No. no look. Hey, I need your help. Where'd you get that? Milan. Second day air. Oh, is that the jacket you weren't gonna buy to show me how good you were at waiting? Waiting sucks. Okay, Close Your Legs was written by a woman with 200 cats. <laughs> At a certain point, you just want to go for it. Yes, yes, you do. And to that point, Chelsea is upstairs in my room, and she's ready. You mean... Yeah, uh-huh, she's waving me home. <gasps> this is all my fault. This is... Oh, 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 I see. A woman wants to sleep with me, and you want the credit. Yeah, I sold her on the woo! Got her all curious and worked up, and that's why this is happening. No, 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 this is happening because I pulled three people from a burning building. Seriously, which one sounds more believable? Well, mine actually happened, all right? You'll see it on the news tonight. The point is, she's up there, and she's ready to do it, and I can't. Oh, Joe, there's no shame in that. You know, there are pills you can take. No, no, not, not that. I, I, I can do it. Trust me, I can do it. The point is, I don't want to anymore, okay? I'm gonna have to break up with her. Okay, so to clarify, you were gonna break up with her when she wouldn't sleep with you, but now that she wants to sleep with you, you are breaking up with her. Exactly. Yeah, and they say women are complicated. No, no, it's just, it's just that Chelsea has waited her whole life to do this with the man she's gonna be with forever, and I don't know if I'm that guy. I'm not even sure if I'm in love with her. I mean, you could be with someone for years and not know that they're the right person for you. That's true. You know, you could live with someone for years and still be unsure. So what are we gonna do? What? About me and Chelsea. Oh, uh, okay, you need to go back up to your room and tell her you can't do it. Again, I can do yeah, it. Yeah, 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 just... yeah, okay, I get it. Your boy parts work. Just get up there, be a man, and keep that girl a virgin. Chelsea, look, I gotta tell you something. There you are. I thought I was gonna have to start without you. Ow! Oh, my back again. My back. I couldn't say it. She's naked. I, 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 I could not say it. So you have the courage to run into a burning building, but not to tell a naked woman you can't sleep with her? Look, I may be a hero, but even Superman has his kryptonite. Fine, I'll do it. You know, it won't be the first time I've had to tell a horny naked woman it's not happening tonight. Ready to go over the new ending? Lennox, it's uh, been really great working with you on this project. 
There's something I gotta tell you, and it's not easy for me to say. What? Ryder wants you out. I, I tried to talk him out of it, but you know, I said, we need you, but there's no talking to him. Is this true? Yeah. Yep, that's, um, it's all me. Xander begged me to keep you on, but I told him either you go or we ditch the whole thing. Oh, whatever. I didn't want to be a part of the stupid comic anyway. Thanks for sticking out for me, babe. Yeah. And you, I know where you sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I totally panicked. It's okay. You know, you're in a relationship. You have a lot more to lose. You gonna get a lot of crap for this? Yeah, but bounces off me, because, um, I'm homeboy. Don't ever say that to a girl. Duly noted. Oh.